What's up, doll heads? Welcome back to another video. So today's going to be fun. Um, I am going to do a little show and tell, and then we are going to do some unboxing. And not only are we going to be unboxing one item, we are going to be unboxing three items, which if you guys know, that is not normally my style. Uh, but today it's going to be because I made some purchases with intent to open. So I am very excited about it. Uh, and I have been kind of slowly culminating this, uh, this little spattering of things here. Uh, and I wanted to make a video, so I have not touched anything, even though I've been just dying to open these things because I wanted to get everything together so I could show you guys and we can enjoy it together. Uh, so... The first thing that I'm going to show you is um, an auction that I won that nobody bid against me. And these are some items that I have wanted for a while. I've known that they existed and um, I just haven't gotten them yet. So they were all coming together and I said, yeah, we might as well go ahead and get this stuff. So uh, it's two outfits and one doll, which the doll... I may or may not keep, I haven't quite decided yet. She is very cool. Um, but really I purchased everything just to get the outfits and one of the outfits I'm going to open. So this is from the classic collection, which there are a bunch of dolls that are in this collection. A lot of them are, um, very fancy, like kind of ball gown looking really shiny, bright color outfits. Um, not necessarily something that I will collect just because I didn't have any of these as, as a kid. Uh, but this one is pretty funky. The nice thing about these is that they have a little flap so that you can see the amazing artwork because the artwork that goes with this stuff is fantastic. Uh, but then you can actually open it up and take a look at the doll. So this is, uh, this is Uptown Chic Barbie. And uh, she has some, like, pleather-type items. Like, I think her skirt and her pants are both pleather, uh, and her top, I think, is also pleather. She's got a lot of pleather going on in this outfit. Uh, and it makes me a little nervous because, you know, if you were to take this out, what are the odds that this is still going to stay together and not just fall apart as soon as you... Uh, Take it out of the box you know like barbie and rocker style so uh, a little hesitant about that but otherwise uh this doll is pretty awesome uh i am a big fan of the superstar era uh with the short hair there's not a whole lot of them that that have that little short bob do and i think it is great uh and she has rooted lashes which is awesome uh so just a little tidbit on the back here. Uh, we have Kitty Black Perkins, who, if you don't know about this woman right here, you need to Google. You need to go to Google and search up this lady because she's very important in the doll community. She made a ton of dolls uh, that were iconic. She, she designed all these different outfits and dolls and she's amazing. So yeah, if you don't know about this lady, you need to look her up. She's great. Uh, so this was the doll that came with it. Again, probably probably won't hang on to that one. But let me show you these outfits. <laughs> Cause this is really, this is it for me. Like, oh my gosh, these are great. And again, the illustrations are just banging. Uh, so this one is Fifth Avenue style. And then on the back uh, is an example of one of the fancy classic dolls that I was talking about. All right, just like the doll, these ones open up and we have a picture of Barbie over here wearing the outfit and here is the actual outfit itself which oh my god like to me it has like remnants of some like 70s Barbie looking like specifically the the little boots with the little buttons on the side just give me like Barbie Francie vibes but then like this type of stuff uh, is just super like 90s looking to me with, I mean, it's just, it's over the top and completely awesome. Um, and then the little dog, that also gives me, you know, 60s, 70s Barbie vibes. Uh, and comes with little pink stockings. So yeah, this outfit, I might open it at some point in time, but I gotta have the right doll for it. I think that's the key. 
to this type of outfit is you really you want to make sure you're putting it on the right doll so yeah that is great uh, the one that we will be unboxing which I'm going to show you stuff first and then we're going to unbox uh, is this one right here this is Hollywood premiere and again the illustrations so good on these they're, they're just amazing like even after I uh, open this one up I'm probably going to keep the box just because the illustrations are great uh, back of the box is very similar same doll that they show on the back show the other outfit up here and then this is the one that is in here so here's our picture of Barbie wearing said outfit which is great it is just like I mean it looks fancy but then at the same time, it looks like something at a fashion show. Like, it just, oh my goodness. I love it. Love it, love it. And here it is over here. So, I mean, we'll take a closer look at it once we get it out of the box. But uh, it is just way over the top. This giant uh, overcoat, whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, it, yeah, we're going to take a closer look at this when we get it out of the box. Because there's a lot of details and very nice. Uh, so when I purchased these, I was not exactly sure who was going to be wearing, if I was going to open them, and who would be wearing the outfits if I did. Uh, so I was at the local antique shop, and they had some more vintage Barbies, which a lot of them, the, they were very overpriced for the condition that the dolls were in. It looked like it came from a smoker's home, and they were dark and not, not great. Uh, but they did have Stacy, and she needed a little cleanup. But uh, this is a great looking Stacy, um, super vibrant, hair looks really nice, little platinum situation going on. Of course, I had to put a new band in her hair and, you know, make her look pretty. Her, her face is a little bit pale compared to her body, which does happen with some of the mod dolls, but um, she's gorgeous. As far as Stacy's go, she's very nice, so I didn't mind spending a little bit more on her. Um, she has a little spot in her leg, but I don't really care about that. She's very nice. All right, now we are going to take a look at Stacy. Now, I loved my Stacy doll. This is actually mine from childhood. I did take pretty good condition, or pretty good care of my dolls as a child. So most of the time they're gonna have like sock shoes, accessories, all that stuff. And I just, I love Stacy. Um, you know, I loved Skipper and then they came out with Stacy and I was like, yes. And Stacy kind of, they blew her up for a little bit, and then she just kind of came and went. Her, you know, the names changed again, and, you know, then they started getting smaller and, you know, little Chelsea's and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, but I love Stacy. So, the first couple of Stacy dolls, um, there was, like, the, uh, the one that was just labeled Littlest Sister, and then there was, um, the, uh, Play and, oh my gosh. I can't even think of which one it's called. What do they call it? Not that one's Little Sister. I don't even have anything to cheat off of here, but there was another one that <laughs> they came out with. And then there was like the Sharon Sisters set, which I think that one is from the Sharon Sisters set where it was like Barbie, Skipper, Stacy, and they all could like share each other's clothes and stuff. Um, party and play. That's what it was. So uh, there was a twin question mark brother. I don't know where Todd exactly popped out of. Um, but, uh, you know, they're, they're coordinating, like their outfits can coordinate. Um, so sometimes I'm just window shopping for dolls and I will see that there is a black version of a doll that I know and love that I had in my childhood. And it goes into that whole variance thing that I'm a big fan of. Uh, and so immediately I have to have it. So. I pulled out uh, a couple of examples. Uh, so this, I love this. <laughs> so this was not a Christie. Uh, this is Barbie, but this is Animal Love and Barbie is just the black version, which I did not know existed until like, I don't know, a year ago or something. I was on an auction site and I saw it and I was like, ah, oh, there's a black <laughs> version of Animal Love and I have to have it. So, uh, Every once in a while stuff like that pops up and it's always interesting to me to see that there was a black version of Barbie and that it wasn't just a friend with a different name. It was this, this is Barbie, right? I mean, it's Barbie. There's no other name on here. So yeah, this is Barbie <laughs> right on the top. Uh, 
and it's cool because even like you know they'll change like the artwork and stuff on the back and all that so uh, this is this is a good example of this so uh, not that long ago I was looking at Stacy dolls and I saw that there was a black Stacy so again it's interesting to me because later on I'm pulling up some dolls here later on uh, her she became a friend and it was Janet so this is Janet right and I think Janet came out in a couple different versions this is the Polly Pocket version which is so cute uh, but there was also like the McDonald's one, there was one riding the bike, all, all kinds of different ones. Uh, but this is Stacy. This is, this is black Stacy. Uh, and again, I had no idea that, uh, that this existed and I wanted one real bad and I want to put it on display. So I saw this one and as you probably can tell, the box is all crushed and is it fixable? Maybe, but it's not going to be cause I'm going to take her out of the box. So that's. That's what we're doing today. We're going to take her out of the box. All right. And <laughs> on top of the window perusing uh, of Stacy, um, I also noticed that there were fashions that were made for Stacy, which I didn't know because I, I didn't have fashions. I just had the dolls. So I got this because I think this is the very cutest one. There's several, um, which there are some pictures on the back. So this is the one that I got, which it says, uh, what is this, school days? School time. Uh, to me, this looks like a little cowgirl outfit, but, um, does come with little pencils and books. So I guess it's school related. And then, uh, there's three other ones, which I do not have. And this one to me is the cutest. So that's what we have here today. Uh, but you know, I was looking at the picture and then I was looking at what was in the package and I'm like, yeah, this is, you know, this is definitely like the, the prototype looking picture because I don't think that. The items that are in there, they almost look like she has a little jacket and uh, like little boot covers and it looks like pleather or plastic or something. And here you can definitely tell that it's like a, like a vinyl type of material or something. But again, we will dive into that when we get this thing open. Um, the other interesting thing to note is they made her but they did not make a black version of Todd that came sold like this. The only black Todd that I have seen, which you guys are going to have to correct me on if I'm wrong, um, is it comes in a wedding set. It's called like dream wedding, I think. And it's like Barbie Stacy labeled as Stacy, which is the black version and a black Todd. And I think that that might be the only version that they made of black Todd dryer's done. I don't know if you guys can hear the song or not. <laughs> so at some point in time, if I can get that set for a halfway decent price, I would love to take that Todd out of there and dress him like this because they never made him. And I, I need to have, she needs her brother. Like what are you going to do? Yeah. You know? But I tell you what, that set is very expensive. If you guys look it up on eBay, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's very expensive. All right. So First thing that I want to do is I want to open this classique. I really want to open it. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Maybe. You guys are going to have to watch me struggle as always because that's just how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Good news is there's no tape or anything to, uh, I didn't grab any scissors, so we'll see if I have to make a mad dash to the kitchen and go get some scissors. All right. And I think her shoes are in here. Yes. Got the shoes. All right. So, ah, you see this on the back? These are, sh these are like threads. They're like very thin threads and that's what's holding the outfit to the backing, uh, which is great. And that is also reminiscent, reminiscent of, uh, the vintage clothes because they actually were sewn on with a piece of thread as well. But we're going to see if I can not damage the clothes. Mm, questionable. Nope. Nope. All right. Yep. See, now they've got all this stuff that's plastic. They attach everything with plastic. Oh my gosh. Oh. My 
goodness. Interesting. This says that it was designed by Carol Spencer. Again, if you don't know who Carol Spencer is, do some, do some Googling. She's a very important part of Barbie history. So look at this thing. Do you see this? <laughs> it's got the pink liner on it and it's um, ASMR. <laughs> it is just amazing. It is amazing. I don't know what it's gonna look like on the doll, but uh, oh my God, I love it. I love it, I love it. All right. The dress is just kind of your typical uh, 90s Barbie material dress. Again, let's try not to tear any of the clothes. Pull off some strings. Oh, is this one going to come off? Maybe not. Okay, gently, gently. So, yes, <laughs> yes, look at this thing. Look at the ruching on the front. That is just, ugh, my goodness. Uh, no, oh yes it does. Oh, it has a little snap on the back. Very nice. So yeah, that's gonna look amazing. Now the stockings, oof, I gotta be real careful with these stockings now. Uh, all right, BRB. Let me take a look at my wall for a second. Oh yeah, I got a knife. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can cut some thread. Yeah. All right, little stockings. Oh gosh, there's another string. I'm really excited to show you guys these stockings because they have a little detail on here that I'm very excited about. All right, strings be gone. So these have some little sparkles. You see? How cute is that? Only on one side though, huh? I love it. Little details. And yes, we have the purse. Purses mostly off, and I will leave the other accessories because I'm not going to be displaying those in any type of way. I'm just being nosy to see. Yes, you can actually open this purse. So it's, it's very similar to the vintage purse where it has the little bead that's on there with the hole, and yes, you can open this. All right. Now out of the way. Let's see if we can put some stockings on and we'll see if I chose the right doll because most of the time the doll that I choose for an outfit or the outfit that I choose for a doll is um, what it's going to wear. And if I get a new doll and I'm like, oh, let me pick out an outfit to put on this doll, uh, there's a good possibility that I will go through several outfits. Like I'll be like, oh, this will look cute on it. And then I put it on there and I'm like, no, this isn't cute. So. <laughs> We're already at 18 minutes. So we'll see if I'm going to continue on with the stockings or perhaps I'll just throw the dress on so I can show you guys. And then I'll put a picture on maybe Instagram or something. Maybe. It's close. It's very close. If you know anything about these mod dolls, their legs, the uh, rubber type of, well, actually the 90s dolls had it too. The, uh, that kind of rubbery material um, is very hard to get certain things on, like stockings, for example, or like tight pants, because it just sticks to the legs. All right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. It's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. So there's your, uh, there's a little sparkle leg. Yay. All right. 
let's put a dress on. Mm. It's a matter of how the dress goes on because it's got a little crissy crossy. I'm going to say it goes on like this. Maybe. Yep. Got it. This is so exciting. As long as it fits her. I think it's going to look great. Oh, she's got a little gem uh, kind of like in her cleavage also. Yeah. Looking fancy. So she's got She's got a little gem right here also. But yeah, that's uh, that's looking real good so far, guys. Very good. Now let's get this amazing, amazing coat on her. Maybe. Wow. Oh my goodness. Stacy girl, you looking good? <laughs> All right, let's get it looking just right. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. That is great. This jacket is humongous. That looks so good, though. Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait to display her. I'll have to crack open her shoes, too. They're just the normal, uh, you know, the little 90s pumps. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's great. I'm very excited about that. You don't know, guys. I saw this outfit a long time ago, and I was like, it will be mine. <laughs> At one point, it was very expensive, though. So, all right, I'm getting a little closer. So... She's going to be more complicated. I'm going to open this outfit. It's happening. Okay. All right. Let's see how it's held up. What year is on here? 93. I'm telling you, man, early 90s. That's, that's where it was at. All right. What's going on with this thing here? How are you attached? Huh. Because it just had a little bit of uh, like a little gummy, little gummy sticky stuff on there. Hopefully, I didn't stain anything. There is a little bit of uh, gummy residue on the clothes, so I may actually end up having to give these a a wash. You have to wash them. All right, get all these pieces off. There's Stacy wearing a little <laughs> bathing suit underneath. All right. So, yes, the uh, the jacket is definitely not a pleathery material. This is just kind of a thin, vinyl -y type of thing, but that's okay. That's all right. Uh, there's a little hat. Let's see what that looks like. And then, so it comes with two little tennis shoes which is usually what Stacy was wearing. Uh, but then it comes with these little covers that kind of are, I guess, supposed to make it look like boots, according to the picture. Uh, and then we have this very cute little uh, 90s looking <laughs> skirt. I wouldn't even call it geometric because it's got like kind of flowers and shapes and stripes and, you know, how the 90s did, mixing everything together. Uh, super cute fluorescent yellow shirt that has uh, Stacy's logo on there. And then um, this, which I'm not exactly sure what this is. Is this supposed to be for her hair? Let's cheat. I guess maybe it's a scarf. I can't really tell. In this picture, it's just hanging off of the shoulder of the jacket, which doesn't really make any sense. But yeah, I'm going to guess that this is potentially a scarf. 
And then there is a little bag of accessories. So there's a phone in here. <laughs> a phone and can I get it open? Gosh, this tape is something else. Oh, so many tiny little things. So this is supposed to be, I guess, like a little notebook, perhaps. Looks like a little spiral notebook. Um, you tell me. What is this? Is this supposed to be like an alarm clock or something? <laughs> if it's something simple, I'm going to feel real dumb. But I really don't know what that is. Uh, yes, there is a little telephone. Interesting. Uh, a little pencil, which actually has the little grabby thing on the side, so she can hold the pencil. And this is a drink. It has a little, like a soda pop tab on the top. So there's a little drink. Interesting, interesting little accessories. All right, so the big moment has come. Stacy, you're coming out your box, girl. We're gonna free you. So as you can tell, uh, if you guys don't know about these party in place, obviously they came with, uh, you know, super 90s looking outfit. And then they also came with like a little soccer outfit. A little soccer ball, which is kind of fun. And hoo -hoo, yeah, we got, uh, we got pamphlets. Which, oh, weird. These are like um, things for actual children. These are, this is not a doll catalog. So there's like uh, plates and stuff for like your birthday. There is like sports, Barbie themed sports gear that you can buy. A uh, sleeping bag over here. And Game Boy games. Uh, Barbie magazine. Sneakers, of course, uh, like princess gear, some watches over here, and a necklace, and towels. Ooh, roller skates. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, all the bedding. Uh, there's like a makeup set, like a perfume makeup set here, which I don't believe that I had any of this stuff. Socks with uh, the lace ruffles. Does anybody remember when that was a thing? I do. <laughs> ah, there's like a little caboodles, little uh, Barbie themed caboodles here to hold all your Barbie themed makeup. I think I did have some Barbie themed makeup. Ooh. <laughs> uh, look at these sunglasses. They have like little. Did you guys ever collect bell charms? That's what they look like. They have like the little clips on there, like a clip you'd hang on your backpack or whatever, but uh, they're hanging off of the side of the glasses. <laughs> if you have a picture of yourself wearing those, please, please do the world a favor and put that on the internet because everyone wants to see that, I promise you. All right, back to it. Uh, we have our one year limited warranty from Mattel. And, oh yeah, classic twisties gotta love the twisties all right stacy we're not wasting any time we are gonna get you the heck out of here hopefully it won't take too long because it's just twisties and uh some tape All right, come on up. Oh, we do have a little uh, plastic doodad that's holding on her hat. Okay, twist tie is coming out. All right, I don't need the rest of that for now, but oh my God. She's so cute. 
She's got some old rubber bands holding her shoes on, but oh my goodness. Look at how cute. Look at the skirt. Ugh, this outfit is just fantastic. I don't know why it gives me, um, did you, ever, you guys ever watch Teen Witch as a kid? This, like, the outfit that she comes walking into the dance or whatever in. I just always think of that when I, when I see this skirt. But I love this outfit. Uh, however, we're going to see what she looks like in the other outfit. Because that was my whole purpose. Ooh, her hair is staticky. She got a little bodysuit on, and I'm afraid that her hat, no, nope, it's okay. It's got elastic that holds it on, like behind her hair or whatever. I was afraid that the elastic might have gotten a little weird, but it's looking pretty good. All right, outfit's coming off. Shoes are coming off, and yeah, the socks are going to come off too because we don't need those. All right. First up is going to be the skirt. This is going to be so cute. I kind of want to see what this hat's going to look like on her. The hat kind of has like a square top to it. This is so weird. Maybe it's supposed to go like this. The picture makes it look almost like a cowboy hat, but this makes it look like a witch's hat. <laughs> that is very bizarre. Um, yeah, it's it's like the, the sewing on it or something makes it look a little bit different. She definitely looks like, like a little witch's hat. Maybe if we pull it back a little bit, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the hat. Sad. Sad days about the hat. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to put the shoe on first and then put the cover on. Ooh wee. The shoes do not want to go on them feet, though. All right. Uh, where does this go on? Same part first. <laughs> All right, the shoe is going to come off. <laughs> Lesson learned. If you're trying to put this outfit on your Stacy doll, cover goes on first. Then we'll put on the shoe. Uh, yeah, I guess it kind of looks like a boot, sort of. I don't know why they didn't just put a boot in there instead of that, but that's okay. <laughs> it looks a little weird, but it's okay. It's all right. This isn't as uh, cowgirlish as the picture suggests. All right, let's see if we can get this other shoe on. Okay. Yes, this is happening. All right. <laughs> there she is. And yeah, I mean, honestly, this outfit is really cute. Uh, I think that the, well, I don't know. I was going to say, I think the jacket might take away from the outfit, but it might not. This jacket might be pulling things together here. Let's see. Let's not look, neglect the jacket. This almost kind of actually looks like a little rain, rain outfit. Put 
Yeah, okay. I ain't mad at it. It's a hat, though. Yeah, that's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. Alright. And then... Can we get the scarf on? Assuming that's, a, that's what this is. Do I need to tuck it underneath the jacket? See, the scarf is going to kind of cover up her, uh, her name. So I might have to pull that back a little bit. Yeah, the scarf, I think, is a waste of time. But I do like the jacket on there more than I thought it would. So yeah, there she is. Very cute, huh? She'll be sitting with her friends on the Stacy shelf because I do have multiple Stacy's that are out on display with my Totally Hair Barbies and other 90 items. So. At some point in time, what I do want to do is uh, show you guys the toy room, break everything down. I can't show it to you all in one video because there's too much going on in there. Um, but I think I could maybe break it down by decades. So it is in the cards. It's, it's in the back of my mind. It, it'll happen at some point in time. So, all right, guys, that's it. We're at 36 minutes. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.